Hey guys, George the Ski Monster, and today we're going to be talking about buckle ski boots versus that thing that everybody's talking about, BOA ski boots. Obviously, I have quite a bit of time in buckle boots, just like everybody out there, because that's all that's existed until now. This season, I did manage to get out in BOA ski boots, not just from this Atomic that's in front of me, but K2, Fisher, Solomon, over 20 days this year. And here in the East, out west, and they're really pretty sweet. Now, one thing that everybody's talking about with BOA ski boots, and they're li they literally do like this hand motion, is that BOA boots wrap your foot. And it's not to say that buckle boots don't, it's that BOA ski boots wrap your foot better. Two-piece overlap boots, which is what both of these guys are, lower, upper, lower part of the shell, overlaps, they're designed to wrap the foot more. The reason why you get better foot wrapping in the BOA is because of how this cable connects to the shell and how the whole system tightens. In a buckle boot, it ends up just being disproportionate. It's really hard to really get that dialed in there, pun fully intended. So a disadvantage though with this being so proportionate and comfortable is some people want a disproportionate feel in their ski boots. They want to feel like they're absolutely locked in there, like they have a ton of pressure on top of their foot, or the ability to use this lever and hammer down even harder. For people that prefer that feel, BOA isn't going to be for you and probably isn't ever going to be for you. But for skiers that have been complaining about the top of their foot, you know, maybe they have a high end step. Um, it's a little knobby up there, maybe just sensitive, maybe all of the above. BOA is a godsend. It is freaking incredible. Um, you're going to be a heck of a lot more comfortable out there, and because you have a more proportionate feel, your feet are probably going to stay warmer too. Now, a time uh, actually in Jackson Hole, hiking through Rock Springs and Four Pines, I was in a pair of buckle boots, and my feet ended up freezing. And part of the reason they ended up getting so cold was because on that boot pack, you know, when you take certain steps, the buckles end up opening up. This shell is able to allow snow to get in. And in that moment, I was like, holy crap, I really wish that I had a bow boot right now because with each step, this thing isn't opening. It's staying closed. And it's a little bit easier to fine tune when you're out there. This is tough. Um, now, while there's a little bit easier, more ease of fine tuning this boot, if you really do want to hammer down when you're out there in the cold, this does get a little more difficult. Like that moved pretty easily because it's 70 degrees in here, but when it's below freezing, that gets tough when you're trying to get it just as tight as possible. These levers on buckles really do help you quite a bit. Now, as far as durability goes, I had zero issues with BOA, and I had full confidence in this. To be completely honest, I had uh, more buckle failures this year. Um, not that it's the end of the world. It's an easy enough thing to fix. Um, but I see more problems happening here just because this stuff gets loose. If this is open, falls out of the trunk of a car, it can get dinged, and it's harder to buckle up. Um, I truly trust this BOA system. It's fantastic. Now, big question is, am I going to be skiing in a pair of BOA boots next year? And the answer is no. And the reason isn't because BOA isn't awesome. It's that there isn't a boot that makes sense for my feet yet. I ski in low volume 130 flex boots. The only low volume 130 out next year is this one in front of me. And it has a little too much space. There's a little bit too much volume in there. It's a, it's a bigger low volume fit. Now the key takeaways between BOA versus buckles is in a buckle boot, this can be buckled with a lot of, you know, adjusting of micro adjustments, really getting it fine tuned to have it buckled proportionally. You do have the option to buckle a buckle boot disproportionately. So if you want a lot of pressure on top of your foot, maybe a little more room in the toes, you can do that. 
a bolo boot is going to wrap your foot proportionally. It closes everything at the same time. You can't just close here or just close here. It's all closing evenly, which is absolutely amazing if the top of your foot is more sensitive. It is really significantly easier to get that foot to feel more comfortable inside of the ski boot. If there are any other questions you have, don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us an email, message us on live chat, or book an appointment with us here in Boston.